coming in hot. Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. We have been doing a question that goes like a cylinder with a height of 75 mm and a base radius of 25, which we have already here, is cut by an inclined plane at an angle of 30 degrees, 45 mm away from the base. We have been asked to draw the true shape in the development of this structural surface. I'll place the link for the previous video on how to develop a cylinder. In the description all right so then i will measure 45 millimeters from the base and that's where the cutting pin is going to be an angle of 30 degrees all right so that's my cutting pin Alright, next for the tree shape. You, know, you can only see the tree shape if you look at it at an angle of 90 degrees. So 90 degrees would be in this direction. I'm going to project all these lines at an angle of 90 degrees. So let's start. The first one. Then finally, this one. Right. Now I'm going to draw a reference line which will parallel to this cutting plane over here. Then we draw this true shape over here. I'm going to draw a parallel line to this shape. This one is still in this something smaller. So I just extend. This to be a new line of reference. Now you are going to trace the point. We know this is our point one. This up. This is our point one, which goes up and goes this way. Here becomes our point one. Our point seven goes this way, then goes this way. That becomes our point seven. Now it's left for the point in between i'm going to extend these 10 lines to extend them next i'm going to pick my compass we know the distance from this point to 2 and from this point to 12 is the same so i'm going to stand here and pick to 2 or to 12 is the same thing then you follow through this is the line you stand here
and inscribe a knock above an arc below. Let's move on to three. Three and eleven. We get that distance. Stand on the three line, which is here. Inscribe a knock above and an arc below. Next, I'll move on to the four line. Come to the four line here. Inscribe a knock. And inscribe a knock. Inscribe a knock. Next, I'll move on to the five line. Follow two, follow two from here. Then you inscribe a knock. And inscribe a knock. Next one is the six. That's six. I'll follow two. Then you inscribe a knock. And inscribe a knock. Alright, next I'm going to mark the point. So we have here already as point one. This will be our point two. Here our point twelve. Point three. Point eleven. Point four. Point ten. Point five. Point nine, point six, point eight, and then finally back to point seven. So I'm going to join the points with this smooth curve. So let's see. Alright, so we have this to be the true shape. Now let's develop the surface. We are going to project all the lines from here to so where the cutting plane intersects with these vertical lines. You project them. So let's start. So this one, this one goes. So you have these to be the projections. Now you are going to mark them with their number. We have one to two over here. I want to two over here. So let's start. One goes this way, comes this way, intersects with one over here. Next, two and twelve. So we have two and twelve. Then back to one. Three and eleven. Three and follow two. Two eleven. 4 and 10. So we have 4 here. 
Pulu to ten over here. Nine and five. We have five here. Nine will be here. Six and eight. We have six here. And we have eight here. And then finally seven. So we have seven also here. I'm going to join them with a smooth curve. I'm going to take a note. Alright, now let's let's draw the covering as an additional step. So for the covering, we know for the bottom part it's going to be the same part, but for the top it's going to be this. Let's start at the bottom first. So we select any point. Since seven is the center, let's let's use seven. So let's use seven. So that's where the problem is going to be. Next, I'm going to pick the radius over here, which is 25. I'm going to stand at seven and use square banak. Now where it intersects with a straight line, I'm going to stand there and draw a circle. We have the circle for the for the for the downside. Now yeah, it's left with the one for this side, the top part. But we know in order to get the true shape, it has to be at an angle of 90 degrees. So you need to first draw that line. Then we draw the covering on top. Alright, so let's draw let's also extend this one. Now, do you mean we we decided to pick point eight? Now, in order to get in order to use point eight, you need to draw a line that will be ninety degrees to point eight. So this this line would have rather been this way if you're using point eight. That's the same way if you're to use point nine, would have aligned it and drew a line. But because you're using point seven, there's this ninety degrees here already. So there's no need to draw. That one. All right, so let's move on. So we have this point to be our point seven. Now, in order to get our point one, we need to come here, stand at seven, and open to point one. Then stand at seven and you can back. So now this becomes our point one. Meaning the rest of the points lie on this plane. So let's start. So 7 to 6, we are going to get that distance. 7 to 6 in this square banak. Seven to five, we get that distance. Standard seven 
in this way like that. The wind to fall. Can you get that distance? Then the in this way like that. The wind to three. Get that distance. Stand the in this way like that. The wind to two. Get a distance, stand here, and you have a knack. Next, I'm going to draw horizontal lines through the points. So, horizontal line here, horizontal line here. Next, we are going to pick again. Now, from from this center point to six, the same as from this center point to eight. I'm going to stand here, get that point, come to the line here, then inch by back, then inch by back. So this. So here is our point eight. Here's our point six. Now you come to the center line, pick five and nine. Come here, pick five and nine. These are five and nine. Stand here, inscribe an arc. Inscribe an arc. Next, four and ten. Four and ten. Next, three and eleven. And finally, two and Right, so now let's mark. I have here to be point five, four, three, two, back to one, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now I'm going to join the points through the smooth curve. So let's see. This. Going to take in it. And that will also be the top covering for the cylinder. And we have done. So this is the true shape, this is development, and these are the coverings. I'll see you in our next tutorial. Thank you.